night and welcome to all our viewers on Mark TV. We have, have joining us tonight, your Prahlad uh, Madhubushri. I hope I, I got that right. Uh, he it is probably really close. Yeah. As he says, very close. And we have him on Mark TV tonight. Of course, uh, Prahlad comes uh, to the US Open every year. He brings uh, his team and of course, he has been doing a lot of cricket, a lot of development uh, work in his uh, neck of the woods as well. So he's an important cog in the wheel of uh, United States cricket. And we have him here tonight, uh, you know, just to speak a bit about, uh, you know, his experience with uh, CCUSA, his experience with cricket in America, and of course, uh, the COVID-19. Uh, Prada, let me officially welcome you. Thank you, Mino. And tell me, what's uh, the situation in your neck of the woods in terms of the, the COVID-19 um, pandemic? Yeah, well, I mean, we're all staying home, staying safe, not really venturing out unless for uh, main groceries and things like that, because, you know, it's very important that we curb this. Um, on a positive side, we are getting a chance to spend time with the family. Mm -hmm. um, you can say, you know, in this pandemic, that's probably the silver lining that, you know, we get a chance to spend time with kids and parents. So we are doing that and taking advantage of that. Um, the athlete in all of us yearns to go out, but we really cannot go out and play with others. So except for some walks and bike rides, you know. So. Yes. And uh, which area normally, uh, which area are you from? Uh, I am. I live in uh, Pasco County in Wesley Chapel in Tampa, um, mm -hmm. in Florida. Um, and so, as you know, the weather is great here. We can play around the year. Um, but now, with the, with the stay home order, we are having to you know, be home. But, uh, what's the figures like in Tampa in terms of uh, those uh, who have tested positive for the COVID nineteen, and also um, the death rate? Uh, I don't know if you're privileged for, uh, to have those figures, but what's the situation there? Well, I mean, it is about, we have about five counties. Pasco County is one of the counties that, uh, that I live in. Uh, it, Pasco County has been fortunate that we don't have as many cases as Hillsboro, which is like the biggest county. You know, that's the county where you have, you know, that's the Raymond James Stadium area, you know, the entire, you know, New Tampa and you know, South Tampa and all of that. So that has been infected uh, you know, quite a bit. Uh, um, but fortunately, I mean, you know, we don't have as many deaths as, you know, the rest of the United States. Well, that's good to hear. Of course, uh, we hope that uh, the entire United States can get this thing under control. And uh, we all wish and pray for the day when life could return to normal. You were speaking of the athlete and you are having a yearning to go out there. I think athletes are crying these days really uh, because they want to go out they want to play cricket this is good weather uh, so they want to go out and play cricket yeah that's one of the primary reasons we decided to settle down in florida in tampa is okay you know on a daily basis we can always go out and play cricket or any sport rather you know uh, especially cricket uh, so now you know we were just about uh, to start our season the league in tampa and we were getting ready to in a company compete in MAC T10 in April, and then uh, you know, uh, we had this uh, unfortunate situation. So, all of us were training for that and yearning to go out. We are all you know at home now. So, I'm, I'm teaching my kids cricket and playing with them. <laughs> well, that's wonderful, as you said earlier on. That's one of the positive things, you know, spending the time with your kids and uh, you know, just reconnecting with family sometimes in the in today's busy world of work, you don't have that time that you would really like with the family at home, especially the kids. So now you can do that and you'll probably produce a good few cricketers when you're finished as well. <laughs> uh, but tell me, I'm, I'm sure that something somewhere you're hoping that you can still play the Mac T10. Mac T10 has not been cancelled. A decision was taken by CCUSA earlier in the week to actually postpone the tournament. It could play in September if things go back to normal or at least close to. It could also play in October or November. The only month that it would not be played will be December, of course, because that is a time that we're hoping to have 
the U.S. Open, the 12th edition of the U.S. Open. Of course, I know that your team also comes to the U.S. Open. Yes, yes. So it would be wonderful any time. We, we would compete any any month it is, whether it is September or October. We are already, I mean, we, we already paid the fees and we are ready, we are ready training for that. So it's great news that it's not been cancelled, you know. Yes, definitely. So well, uh, the, the folks at CCUSA, the chairman, Mohammed Qureshi, has indicated to all concerned that they must look at the situation carefully. Uh, player safety will be, will be first on, on the agenda. And then as soon as possible, once there's a green light, you'll be hearing letter on Willow. And I'm sure that you'll be really excited for, for that as well. Uh, the Mac T10, so crucial every year. Uh, yeah. It's the second biggest tournament hosted by CC USA every year after the US Open. How critical is that Mac T10 with your setup? Say that again. How critical is the Mac T10 tournament to your team? Oh, it's great. I mean, like we have these two big marquee tournaments twice a year that we actually play the season for and prepare for. Uh, we, my teams have been fortunate to do reasonably well in, uh, in, uh, in a MAC T10. Last year, we made it to the semis um, of the MAC T10. Um, and, you know, it, it gives a great opportunity for us to come and play with, you know, and test our talents and our skill uh, in, along with the international talent, right? So, you know, we, we are very excited and we train for it all year long because Every, every athlete want to play along with the big boys. So that, that's the reason why, you know, we are very excited. You know. uh, speaking about the big boys, I'm sure that you'll be hoping that the big boys come calling in December for the U.S. Open. Yeah, I'm hoping they, they always do for Mac. Mac has been doing this, you know, for the last 20, 25 years. So, you know, they hear Mac and, you know, you always find at least half a dozen to a dozen big boys in, in the team, in, in, in the teams there. So. But how, how critical is that, that level of competition for, let's say, your team coming uh, from Tampa mm -hmm. and uh, facing uh, all these international stars? Sometimes uh, you have, as you rightfully said, five and six on a team. How big is that for your team? What does your team take away from the tournament? Oh, they, they, they first of all, they look forward to, because that's what every cricketer dreams, to play in the big matches. And this is as big a platform as you can think of in the United States. Uh, and second, you know, uh, it gives them a gauge for where they stand. And third, they learn a lot. Like uh, I was fortunate that last year, Rusty Thron played for my team and the boys really learned a lot from him, you know, the, especially the bowlers. So uh, it, it's, it's uh, a great learning opportunity as well as a great competition. It's just a wonderful competition indeed because uh, the likes of uh, many international stars will walk through and play. And the young players always tend to learn so much, as you rightfully said, Rusty Theron, who's on the national, uh, the, the USA national team now, the former South African player. And uh, he also played at the CPL, so he would bring that level of experience to, to your team. In terms of your setup in, in Tampa, obviously your league can't get on the way. Do you envisage any time soon that cricket might be played in your neck of the woods in Tampa? We are hoping for, uh, first of all, you know, um, I have to thank Mac for being uh, a great support for us, for uh, bringing Tampa to Pasco County. Like my, uh, my partner in crime, uh, my friend Nagesh Nayak and I, we had a dream of bringing leatherball cricket to uh, Pasco County. And, um, you know, uh, we started and we approached Mac and we said, you know, don't worry about it, you know, go forward with it. Any help you need, we'll help you out. And we were also fortunate that we have a great uh, commissioner uh, for Pasco County, who is a big lover of sports, uh, who is a visionary as well, like Mac, uh, and who, you know, uh, you know, saw the potential uh, and recognized that there are a lot of uh, expatriates uh, interested in playing this game. So he allocated a couple of grounds for us. Uh, we were very thankful to Mac because he actually made a visit to Tampa with us. Uh, we had a great meeting with the commissioner in the commissioner's office. Uh, and then, you know, we had these two good grounds um, where we play leather ball cricket there. And uh, the eventual goal is someday, uh, or maybe pretty soon, that we would like to, you know, 
start having uh, bigger tournaments in Tampa because uh, the infrastructure is there, the setup is there, the weather is there. Uh, you know, uh, now we need the blessings of uh, you know um, the cricket community. I can't hear you. I think, uh, sorry about that. I think looking at your setup with the two grounds, um, you may want to interest Mark one day in probably hosting the USA National Mark T10 across in Tampa. Yeah, yeah that, that's our dream, you know. Now, how many teams you have in your league across there? Uh, we have, you know, plenty of teams. There are teams that play in the 35-over league and there are teams that play in... Uh, uh, 20 over leagues. Um, I can say that at least a dozen good teams are there. If you put together and, you know, really, really good teams, uh, at least a dozen teams will be there in our area. Well, that's wonderful indeed. And uh, do you pick the cream of the crop to take to T10 and the US Open? How does that work? Yeah, yeah of course. I mean, like, we pretty much like make like an all star team from all the uh, teams and uh, ask them and you know, request them that if they would be interested, of course, anyone uh, who hears this opportunity is always interested because they get to play in the big league. Uh, so we take the best of them and then we make a team. And I make a team uh, and then uh, my, my friend uh, Nagesh makes another team. He, his team is Legends and my team is Tigers, um, Tampa Tigers. So uh, we make two good teams and of course, you know, we try our best to add any international talent that we can uh, uh, to, so that, you know, uh, we are as good a team as any other team fielding in uh, the MAC-T10 or US Open. Can you give us a short history of your, of the Tampa Tigers involvement at the MAC-T10 and also the US Open? Um, uh, Tampa Tigers, the Tigers team has been there uh, for a very long time, almost uh, since 1998. Uh, and they've been playing in all, all for, forms of, uh, of tournaments. Uh, in the last few years, we decided to concentrate on leather ball uh, more than any other tournaments. And then since then, you know, uh, we have been you know, competing in leather ball tournaments. Um, we uh, competed in the US Open uh, the year uh, last year, not last year, to 2018, we made it to the quarters. Um, and uh, I, mean, I mean, we lost in the quarters. Uh, Badri had a great spell in that, that game. And then last, last year, we missed the quarters. We won one game and lost two games, but uh, uh, we were in the same team which won the finals. I forgot the new team name. Kavale. Um, um, Pardon? Uh, you, you, you said you, you failed to make the quarters last year, 2019. Yeah, yeah. We had California Bears and uh, we had another team which actually won it all. Uh, uh, that, that was the team that... Uh, Somerset was Cavaliers. Uh, Somerset Cavaliers. That is correct, sir. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so the Cavaliers, Bears, us and uh, Nepali Rhinos were there in the group. Very, very tough group. Probably toughest group of the uh, tournament. And so we won one and lost a couple. Uh, good games, though. Um, so it was a great experience. What, what about the, the Mark T10? What has been your, how many times have you played at that? And what has been your performance there? Uh, uh, we, we, Mac T10, we have played uh, a couple times. Actually, the first time, you know, uh, some of our players, we came, you know, along with the legends. And as you know, you know, they made it to the uh, finals at that time. And then last year, uh, we came uh, as Tigers. And then we made it to the semis and we lost in semis in Mac Teton. And this year we had a really, really good team lined up. Uh, and we're hoping that, you know, our, our dream and goal is to win it all. You know, so. Well, you, you, you've spoken about uh, Makarishi early on and his involvement in coming up to uh, Tampa to ensure that you all get your grounds. And, you know, just to give you that advice and that, that leadership and that guidance. How critical is Mac Qureshi to the development of cricket in the United States? Oh, Mac has been great. He's been a relentless supporter of cricket. I mean, any state, any place, from what I see, anybody says, Mac, I need help. I want to develop cricket. He's there. 
So, you know, it's very hard to find people like that. And, you know, uh, somebody like, you know, me and Nagesh, we have been working on it, but, you know, for someone of his stature, you know, for him, having him come uh, to our city and state and uh, say, okay, what do you need? You know, uh, he saw the vision, of course, but, uh, you know, he, he came to help us out. So that's uh, a very selfless and a great uh, attitude he has, a person he is. So he came along with us to the commissioner's office. Uh, so, you know, at least in Pasco County, in Wesley Chapel, you know, his support meant a lot and that played a, a big role along with the commissioner. Commissioner has been great as well. And I see that all over United States, when I speak to my friends, everywhere his involvement is there. So you know, it's almost like he has been a one-man army supporting it for the last 20, 25 years. You know. Speaking about that one-man army, there is a, a cricket body in place, which is a Cricket America. But yet, Mark continues, although he's not part of that, he continues to, uh, to provide cricketers for them by hosting these tournaments, giving the cricketers a platform to, to really go forward to be to advertise their, their talent to the national selectors. A number of the players would have come through the US Open into the national setup. Are you happy with the national setup? Well, I mean, you know, we do have a national uh, setup, but it, the, the infrastructure is not in place yet, I feel like, because, see, we have a national setup, but they're not hosting tournaments for us in Florida and South Florida, right? Like that, there's so many states where there is cricket, they would love to be part of it. It's because of Mac, we are uh, able to play in these tournaments, interact and play with the uh, big players, learn from them. And as you said, you know, players coming out of this tournament are getting opportunities. Like a couple of years ago, our team got a chance to play with Ali Khan, who plays in CPL and in Canada, everywhere he got selected. So, you know, what he is doing is actually uh, at a grassroots level, he's growing it. I guess, you know, it, it'll take a little bit of time for the National uh, Cricket um, Council to actually, you know, set up in every state for them to be able to do what he's doing. He's he has a, a 25 year head start on them. That's uh, definitely so. And uh, you know, speaking about development, what's the situation with the youth cricket? Is there youth cricket in Tampa, in Pasco? Yeah, we are, uh, one of the requirements was that, you know, we promote youth cricket and that's the whole point of we actually starting this because we want the next generations to, you know, um, experience and enjoy this game, right? The great game of cricket. So uh, we were fortunate that we have uh, Roy Silva, who is the uh, US uh, cricket player. He lives in Tampa. So we collaborated with him and he's uh, helping us run uh, uh, youth coaching. Uh, and it was uh, doing well until, you know, we were supposed to run the next uh, edition of it when we had to stop this because of the COVID-19. And what about women's cricket? Any scope for women's cricket across there in Tampa? Are the ladies interested in the game? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are there is a USF women's cricket team. Uh, we had actually, uh, you know, hosted a few games for them uh, uh, last year, uh, and uh, we were in talks to uh, see if we can possibly have a women's a cricket tournament, a leather ball tournament in Wesley Chapel. And we were going back and forth. There were some teams coming from New York. There was a team from uh, USF in uh, South Florida, and there is one from Atlanta. So we, we really want to encourage that because there are some good uh, cricket players in USF, uh, women's cricket. Well, that's great. And uh, this year, CCUSA was due to uh, conduct a women's tournament as well, but it didn't happen uh, because of, uh, you know, Firstly, there was a pushback because of the PSL and our involvement there, resources would have been stretched. And then that led directly into uh, this uh, COVID-19. Uh, so that is off, but I'm sure that next year it will be on. And uh, Tampa would want to be, you know, involved in that. And Tampa would definitely want to be, uh, you know, flying the, the flag at the women's tournament as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. We want to encourage leather ball cricket in all forms, youth, women's, and the adult, you know, as a life. Yes, uh, definitely. So, so, you know, before we wrap this interview up, I must ask you, you see USA, mm -hmm. 
and cricket. COVID and cricket. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to CCUSA rescuing cricket in 2020? Or are you willing to probably take it easy after 2021? Well, I mean, um, if the government mandates it's that, you know, we have to follow the rules. However, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, we can, you know, uh, get past this in the next few months. And I, I am very hopeful that the minute uh, the government gives a go ahead, I know, you know, and I'm very confident and hopeful that, you know, CCUSA will you know, continue with the, the cricket development and host the tournaments. And we are actually really looking forward. We are not given up on 2020, by the way. We still want to come out and play. Hopefully, uh, we can't, you know, wait to get out there and drive to South Florida uh, and the stadium, you know. Yeah. Speaking about getting out there, uh, how, how are the people in Pasco? Are they respecting what we call now the new normal, social distancing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you don't see a whole lot of cars outside within the communities of course they take for take walks and all but they're still farther away um uh, the beaches have been open but not in tampa uh, from what i understand it's in jacksonville uh that's just uh, one city but as far as pasco county and tampa uh, they have been following you know very well do you think that uh, you all will be able to fight through this and come back stronger yeah, yeah. All the inbuilt energy and the excitement, uh, I think once everyone gets out, they will have some great games out there. Well, we want to thank you, Pranand, for taking time out to join us on the Mac TV. We'll be checking back with you, uh, you know, moving ahead, see what's the situation with your team, the Tampa Tigers. We want to wish them all the best. We want to wish you and your family all the best as well. We want to thank you for being with us. Thanks, thanks a lot, Vinod. Thanks for taking time to interview me. Which is the most authentic cricketing league in America? U.S. US Open, Open Cricket. cricket. <laughs> Which is the most exciting cricket in America? U.S. US Open, Open Cricket. cricket. Which cricket league has the higher number of views in America? U.S. US Open, Open cricket. cricket. Which cricket league has the higher number of players in America? U.S. US Open, Open cricket. cricket. Which cricket league has the higher number of teams in America? U.S. US Open, Open Cricket. cricket. Which cricket league has the higher number of cash prizes in America? U.S. US Open, Open cricket. cricket. Get ready for the biggest cricketing event in America, U.S. Open Cricket 2020, from December 16th to December 20th, 2020, at the Central Broward Cricket Stadium, Fort Lauderdale, Hill, Florida. It'll be aired live on MAC-TV. Let's play 2020 in 2020.